chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again polygons convex polygon concave polygon and regular polygon we have to study these various types of polygons today and we will also discuss the interior angles and exterior angles of a polygon in various situations what is a polygon any closed figure with any number of sides is called a polygon so one quality of a polygon is that this is a closed figure closed figure with n sides where n is more than or equal to 3 three or more sides in a closed figure they make up a polygon so this is a polygon because we can see that it is closed on all sides and it has various edges straight lines straight edges so this is a polygon so we can write another quality straight edges if this edge had been curved then it would not have been a polygon and the number of interior angles this angle is called an interior angle the angle on the interior side these are the various interior angles for this polygon these are called interior angles another quality is that the number of interior angles is always equal to the number of edges count the edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and count the interior angles 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so the number of interior angles is always equal to the number of edges so we can write side by side here equal to n sides seven sides seven interior angles eight sides eight interior angles so these are the various qualities that i have listed this is one quality this is second quality this is third quality about a polygon now let us name some of the common polygons triangle has 3 edges quadrilateral has 4 edges pentagon has 5 hexagon has 6 septagon has 7 octagon has 8 nonagon has 9 and decagon 
has 10 edges. Everybody is usually aware of the first eight. Nonagon, remember for nine from nona, and decagon for decimal ten, decagon. Next, let us take up what is a convex polygon and what is a concave polygon. I will show the concave polygon first and then I will explain the difference. This is a concave polygon, but let me first of all write types of polygons. One type is convex. The second is concave. And the third is regular. Now a convex polygon is a polygon that is bulged inflated like a football as if air has been filled into it and it is expanding outwards. This is called a convex, this figure is a convex polygon because it is bulging like a football. So in convex polygon we can write bulge like a football. Number two, each angle, each interior angle is less than 180 degrees. For example, this polygon if you see carefully, no angle is more than 180. So, a polygon in which each and every angle is less than 180, that will always show a bulge. It will always look like a football. And you must have noted that a triangle is also a polygon. The sum of the angles of this polygon we have already known is 180. Therefore, a triangle will always be convex because each angle will have to be less than 180 degrees. But when it comes to other polygons, they could be concave. For example, this polygon figure which I have drawn on this side is concave because of this dent. A concave figure has a visible dent. And the second thing is that one angle, one angle at least, one angle at least is more than 180 degrees. One, I would say, interior angle. At least one anterior angle is more than 180. For example, here you can note that this angle is the interior angle and it is more than 180 degrees. The third classification is regular polygon. A regular polygon is a symmetric polygon. So we will write symmetric polygon, all angles, all sides and angles are equal. So I will draw boundaries around what I have written so that less confusion is there. This is about convex and this is about the concave and this is about 
the regular polygon. Let us study uh, more properties of polygons. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides of that polygon. For example, if you have a triangle, in that case n is 3. So, the sum of interior angles will be 3 minus 2 equal to 1 into 180 is equal to 180 that we already know. But we can prove a general theorem that the sum of the interior angles of any polygon is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees. You can either remember this fact or derive it with me for your knowledge. So, I will write proof here. To prove this, let us consider an artifice. We will take any edge. Take any edge and from that edge, join all the remaining vertices. This goes 1, this goes 2 and this goes 3. So, how many triangles have we obtained? We have obtained one triangle, two, three and four. How many edges were there? One edge, two edge, three, four, five and six. Six is the number of edges and the polygon and the triangles we have got is how many? Two less than six that is four. We can try it with any figure. For example, let us try it with a quadrilateral. This is a quadrilateral which I have roughly drawn. Now, how many splits will you get? You will get two splits. And how many sides were there? One, two, three and four. And how many triangles? Two which is 2 less than the number of sides of the polygon. So, we can write a general rule here. Split a polygon into n minus 2 triangles. Here we can write n is equal to 6 and you have split it into n minus 2. Here n is equal to 4 and we have split it into n minus 2 that is 2 triangles. Now let us inspect this figure. If we add the angles of this triangle then this is totally added. This is partially added, but when you will add the sum of angles of a triangle 2, then this part will get added. So, this angle 5 will also be completely added. And this part, this partially included the entire angle, but this angle will be covered when you add the angles of 2, 3 and 4, like this is one part, this is second part, this is third part, this is fourth part and we know that the sum of all these parts will add up to this angle. Likewise, this part and this part is going to add up to this entire angle 5. So, we can say that all the interior angles of this polygon can be summed up by adding 
the angles of all the triangles individually. So we can write sum of all interior angles, sum of all interior angles of the polygon of the polygon is equal to is equal to the sum of interior angles angles of the n minus 2 triangles. This is what we can observe. Now we know that the interior angles of one triangle they add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that required sum required sum is equal to number of triangles n minus 2 into the sum of interior angles of each triangle that is 180 degrees which proves the required theorem. You can remember this theorem or you can derive the theorem just in time in case you meet a question in your exam. Let us move to our next property. Each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 360 by n degrees. This is one thing we have to prove. The other thing that we have to prove is the sum of all exterior angles is 360 degrees. These are two different facts that we have to prove. Let us see how we can do that. Suppose this is our polygon but it has been given to be a regular polygon in which all the angles are equal to each other and all the sides are equal to each other. If this is the interior angle then this angle is the exterior angle drawn by producing a side outwards. So I will label it this is the exterior Now we will first of all prove that each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 360 by n degrees. We will prove this Let us do this sum of sum of all interior angles is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degrees. This is what we have proved just now. And since this is a regular polygon, all interior angles are mutually equal to each other. And if the polygon has n sides, there will be n angles. So we can write each of the n angles should be equal to n minus 2 by n into 180 degrees. We have divided n minus 2 into 180 by n. And each exterior angle will be 180 minus interior angle. We can write it here. If this angle is i, then this angle will be 180 minus i. The measure of this angle. 
So we can write each exterior, each exterior angle is equal to 180 minus n minus 2 into 180 by n. This is one expression which is equal to 180 minus. Now this n can be brought under this n. It will cancel out. I will be left with 180. And when I bring this n below this 2, it will give me 2 into 180 is 360 by n which is equal to, I have just expanded this one, n and n cancel the leave 180 and 2 into 180 is 360 and n is there. This 180 and this 180 cancels, this minus becomes plus. So, I will be left with 360 by n. This is what we wanted to prove that each external angle of a regular polygon is 360 by n. This is one thing that we have proved. Now, the sum of all exterior angles. The one angle is this much and there are n exterior angles. So, we will write sum of sum of n exterior angles will be 360 by n into n equal to 360 degrees which proves the theorem. We can see that the sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon of any number of sides is constant at 360 because this expression is independent of n. Therefore, any polygon which is regular, the sum of the exterior angles will be 360 degrees. Let us take our next question now.